New tonight, there have been more than a dozen reports of stolen cars in the past 48 hours in Grand Rapids, and one of those cases led to a number of crashes on the city's west side this afternoon. 13 On Your Side's Andrea Flores joins us now with the new video we have tonight of the crashes. Andrea? Juliet, a neighbor shared the footage from her home security camera with us, which shows us the two crashes. This stolen Hyundai blew a stop sign. hitting an oncoming car and then crashing into an apartment building off of Alpine and Crosby Avenue in Grand Rapids. You could hear the, the tires on the car screeching and then I felt the impact and it shook the building. Danette Terry had just put her daughters down for a nap when she felt the crash's impact on the front of her building and then she went outside to check it out. Things were going so fast and when the lady started trying to get the baby, she kept saying, my baby. That's when I just decided, let me see if they're okay and how can, how can I help them? Grand Rapids police say the suspects got out of the stolen Hyundai and got into another stolen car nearby, only to get into another crash less than half a mile away in front of Harrison Elementary School. The police officer, when he got here, um, he said, yeah, it was a stolen vehicle. We had been following him. We know that it was stolen. No one was inside this part of the building, and a construction crew had the damage patched up within a few hours. Police say there have been nearly 1,000 car thefts and attempted thefts since this time last year. It's very nerve-wracking considering I've got two little ones, and when people are doing this type of stuff, it makes you wonder how safe can you be. By I take them for walks, and yeah, and I'm really concerned. No one was hurt in these crashes, and police are still looking for those involved. Juliet. Andrea, thank you.